slow now. Not so fast, Roach. Move it! You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together, they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and pray. For now, he lives in our hearts. That will be a good... You smell wonderful. Geralt, we're at a funeral. You smell wonderful at this funeral. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caertroll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Haven't seen each other in two years. I want a solitary cottage by the sea. I want to lock myself inside with you. Stay there for a week. What would we do there for a week? Got so many ideas. The one with the rope you use for trophies. That one seems interesting. Stop reading my mind. Something to hide? Don't like secrets? No.
Did you learn anything in Velen? How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Siri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors. Not even for old times, Sip. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. Guess our solitary hut will have to wait. Crack on crate someone we want on our side. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Never Who are there, Witcher? You looking for work by any chance? River, Sacrifice don't eat so much. My best mare. Because they got an honor. Put it true here. Oh! Unless you serve our king worthily. Grand those swords, but I prefer me trusty ones. Grand, Grand Twisek, our valiant king. Red is our loss. Oh, we got a seed of the shield. You're the man. We offer you our main. Threw his umbilical in the water and it coiled into the shape of a snake. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and the luxury.
It's not something I'd ever wear, but what don't we do for our, hmm, who exactly is she to me? Greetings. I'm Geralt. The Witcher knew. Oh. What smells so delicious? Thanks for sparing a moment. Not one of them came back alive from Maria's gun. If you were gonna talk rubbish, I can't stop talking at all. Last night was. Wait, wait! Tricky! What a sword! Ah! Every man on the continent so bloodless. Pray a smile Can upon you. Swing you. an axe. No. Mercy. No I beg you. Can we trust the axe? Arr. Decent folk live here. Craigie. Grand no swords. Swords on his back. What did they think of next? Craigie. Oh. Craigie. Oh. Ah. Yes. Warhawk. I beg you. Best blades not worth. Bring it at A. 
Tend to your own problem. Outlanders are welcome to try to. Uh -oh. Foreigner. Glory and What's honor step? range every which way. Run, Roach. What's that supposed to mean? Ah. Oh, he's Call that broken. Down. These comers dropping down. We gotta drag their corpses. Come closer, stranger. Grab those swords. Who are there, Witcher? Call that broken. You blethered about that before. Uh. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me, but on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my pension for long conversations. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Grand those swords, but I prefer we trust the axe. Hey, you! Hey, you! What have you brought for the farewell oh. feast? Brad. Geralt, there's something I've been oh, meaning to ask you. Mm -hmm. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow Fire. it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you.
Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. We wanted to talk to... The Jarl will join us. Follow... They've seated us here. I asked them to. I wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yammer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lugus, Madman Lugus' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Forgive me. I remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. Crack, her da, and her big brother Yalmer call a Sparrowhawk. A Yal's daughter she is. Fat lot of good it does her. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to her about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Honored to be asked, but maybe some other time. Yeah, shame. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Feasts at Kertrold are legendary. Axe tossing, tamed bears, young crops, Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Dona and Hinda, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs, but Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindisfial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy so Emperor is impaired. Let him say raid awfully. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. 
Finally, some diversion. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. Come on, beat the bastards down. If you don't like fucking wills in the winds. Mm. Oh, right. Then the Yarlan Thunder Scout sacrificed a whole flock of the gods so they'd send a man with courage and strength to slay Mortgor. That's true. Heard the seal. Let's end this. <sighs> Had enough? Ah, oh, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed, deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a Witcher for that haunted light. Doom! No hard feelings, but we'll have to drink another time. Yes. We've important discussions ahead. You land rats are all the same. I fear to you wenches. Oh, he listen. How the devil would I know? What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. We shouldn't be breaking into Ermion's workshop. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you needed to grow a pair. But I know that you simply enjoy complaining. It's the only reason you said that. Why would we go there? To retrieve an item. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it and therefore must steal it. <laughs> right. Of course. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. Yes? Tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws caw. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right, nightingales. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> This'll be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic.
Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Add one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. Looks alive. A hundred loose and arrow if he saw that in the woods. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. I feel them coming closer. They're everywhere. Strange. Smells of mushrooms in here. In my mind, it's the scent of sweet grass drying in the sun. That's one less. You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Mind if we uh, never mention this again? Naturally. Doors open. We'll proceed as soon as you've collected trophies of your kills. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must Pinecone. be here. Didn't expect this. A large female. A child's Wondrous skull. world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlove. A biography enhanced. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm. Guess you're no indecisive prince. Why do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, nothing. Need something else. Gotta look around. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. A goat carved out of linden wood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Dwarven triple mead.
Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe... Seems Ermion has real tobacco brought in. A letter bearing Ermion's seal to the druids warns them about you. That brazen manipulator. <laughs> the shame Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. Let's try again. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. This is it! It. We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs> something quick. The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. Hmm. Damn. I tore a hole in my dress. Wait a minute. I must mend it. You know how to sew. Please. I'll enchant a needle. Kraken creator asked about you. We went out. For a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. Now heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'd sail to speak her own. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with...
How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother. Ciri was... No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word, I'll give you all I can. And I know the lass lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Magic anomaly on Ard Skellig somehow related to Ciri, or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion, but I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms. Bright unnatural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer, how Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You've my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. Whereas Ceres announced that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Artsgelig. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmor decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed were they of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oskar, the village. But that may- You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort things. The thing, so. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later.